amazing, you know, to meet these other vets around here and, you know, just to, to get out now that the adventure starts, you know, now it starts, the fun starts now. I feel that I'm surrounded by people that know me. Getting everybody used to the, the big Indian V-Twins, getting them familiar with it so we have a cool, comfortable, safe ride uh, across the country. I'm just blown away. I mean, it's, it's an amazing place. Jay's just awesome. I came up with the idea to put together a ride that could give them a chance to get back on the open road, get on a motorcycle, and be around like-minded veterans that could discuss and help each other with their issues. You don't know these other veteran stories. You don't know who they are. You've never met them. And you give that respect because they're veterans and you don't have to worry about, you know, what their backgrounds, you don't care. Probably the best way to explain it is, is my wedding day or when I had my kids, it's, you know what could happen, uh, but you're just anticipating what's going to happen. I can't believe it's happening. I'm excited. I'm just blown away that it's all just all the months of dreaming and you know looking forward to it and it's all here. I woke up smiling. Let's, let's get this show on the road, man. So we just pulled into the firehouse. A big warm welcome from the hog riders and the firemen here. It was outstanding coming in and pulling through like that. You know, we were more than happy to help out because the fire department, as you well know, is made up of a lot of veterans. It's freaky hot! Warm. Certainly warm. But uh, it was beautiful coming in. Just coming right in and seeing all the cool stuff and everybody uh, crossing the Nevada border. It was awesome. Day one, complete and utter success. Richie, two chairs. Is you know, we became best friends almost right off the bat and you know, we joke and carry on and... Doc took very good care of me. He made sure that if I needed something, he was right on top of it. Our dynamic is just, it, <laughs> we're like a married couple. The ride will do more for you in nine days on the road in the week in Sturgis than you could ever think imaginable. I mean, it just takes things that you've repressed for years and years and years, the things that you didn't think, you know, you tried your hardest to put them away and not deal with them. But this ride just has its way of, you know, pulling it out and making you examine it and going, you know, that wasn't, that wasn't so bad. I took it on as a personal mission to be able to go the whole way, no matter what we came across, no matter what adversity, weather-wise or anything else that could have arose through riding, I wanted to be able to accomplish this because for too many years I had been closing myself in to just wanting to be where I felt the most comfortable, which is at home. This morning we're here at the Las Vegas Tour of Honor War Memorial. This was really important for us as one of our Tour of Honor stops. This is to pay tribute to our fallen brothers and sisters. It means a lot to us. It's really cool to be coming back as a mentor because I see the side of things that were done for me behind the scenes last time for me to enjoy myself. So I got a deeper appreciation for what those guys did last time around and it makes me want to do the same for the first timers out here this year. Excited and proud today to have World War II U.S. Army veteran Scott Prothero with us in the sidecar. And we're taking him for the day for a uh, motorcycle therapy ride through Zion National Park. It's been absolutely amazing getting to see these guys and girls come together, start opening up, and kind of starting to see their personalities. You can really see the uh, power of motorcycle therapy with the Veterans Charity Ride this year, 2017. Being on this ride with my best friend is in one of the most special ways possible. You know, we get an Indian sidecar, Indian scout uh, with an Avenger sidecar on it allow me and Neil to switch out. 
we had fun no matter what was going on. Every 50 to 70 miles, it, by the time we were done with that, we were ready to swap out and, and uh, take a seat in the sidecar. Day three. Pretty amazing to see America from the sidecar. I believe Edwards Cherry Ride has the same principles where we're all family and we all have a common goal, which is to get better by using more cycles as a more cycle therapy. To me, it's therapeutic in the sense of you just seeing uh, a different view. First of all, I feel free now. I feel like, like, like a lot of stuff that happened that I got with me is, is start dropping little by little. No amount of thanks can ever be enough for what you all have done. It's an honor and a privilege to be here in front of you. And as my colleagues have said, that our city and county are yours. God bless you and thank you very much for all you've done for us. Well, it's great to see other communities uh, that come out and welcome Veterans Home and uh, uh, show them that they appreciate it. When you're actually on that front line and you're fighting for your country and come back to be appreciated for it, and then people that don't know you, I mean, share tears of, of joy for what you've done. It's a, it's a lifetime uh, memory that will carry you in, until you uh, perish. Now here at Red Cliffs, where we'll be able to relax for the next three days and take it easy and get some veteran-to-veteran -veteran discussions done and some healing and some motorcycle therapy, some rafting, some horse therapy, and uh, we're here. They gave the black guy the black horse, man. <laughs> uh, let's see what time it is. <laughs> I'd rather be shot at again right now than, than be on this horse. We're having them all come down here today. They're taking a bunch of our 900 four seaters out and going to go have some fun here in Moab. <laughs> David looks like he's about ready to get shot out of a cannon. <laughs> this is just awesome. I mean, I'm getting to get out in a UTV and like hit the trails. I just got done playing in the mud, man. You can tell. Safe to finish. I've been wearing my seatbelt. This is just fantastic though, it's a crazy ride. It's an incredible thing to see these guys, what they've gone through and, and where they're at mentally and that they're out here living life and, and showing you that, you know, after military, after, you know, things happen that these guys want to live and, and keep charging hard and, you know, it, it's epic to see and it's definitely touching. And so I want to thank you guys, and I want to thank you girls and the men and women in our service. You always know you have a friend and a connection in Moab. And if you ever need something, I'm your guy. Thank you. Oh, I love you. I didn't know what to think. I didn't know what it was all about to be in the sidecar and be able to look up at the mountains and just see God's creation. I get to participate with Shane and, and look at his expressions, um, and, but it, it makes me part of a team again, and that's, I think, the aspect of the VCR program that I like. Another charity ride, 2017. Beautiful place, beautiful people, VCR 2017. Honestly, it's been mind-blowing. We've just been you know, enjoying every moment and just yeah. Trying to soak it all in. We made it up here. 12,000 feet, continental divide. I get to be here with my, my best bud, Pinky. Obviously, we're so honored that they would consider to stop and, and have this be a meeting point. Well, it's fun because it honors vets. It's a wonderful thing to do, and it helps us show off our town. 
The reason that it's such an important stop to us here at Indian Memorial Circle of Denver is that Indian Memorial Circle has a long, rich history involved with veterans, with the military, and we see it fit as our way to just give a small amount back. It was like a challenge for me to finish all the way, and when I finished, I, I, it was like an, an accomplishment. Like, I did it, I finished, and it, it was, I cannot, I cannot have words to explain the feeling that I got. Made it to South Dakota. Excited. It's our major over here is excited too. Hold on. <laughs> Been here before, done it. Watching these guys getting me excited about it, it's worth it. It is just phenomenal. I am so excited to get, get all the way there and complete this journey. Everybody's got smiles on their faces. Uh, butts are a little bit sore, but they're smiling. So I think it's going to be a good end to today and get to the hotel. Finally saying that we made it, mission complete. We made it finally from LA to Sturgis on the bikes. It was a uh, you know, it was worth it. It, it. it was worth the miles. Every single mile was fun. All the Indian owners were out there with flags and clapping for us, and they loved the veteran. Thanks for what you guys have done and what you do. The Indian family cheering us on. Just the emotions uh, it brought you to tears. But I am very thankful for VCR, uh, the sponsors and the donors that allowed me to come today. So thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. Bad ass up here. We're finally here at Sturgis. All of our days on the road, you know, Las Vegas, Bryce Canyon, Moab, Eagle, Hot Springs. Just, you know, it was just a build up to this day. And I'm telling you, it, it's incredible. It is incredible. Hey, you're a veteran and you suffer from PTSD and TBI. Hey, yeah. Come and join us. And you're going to change. It's going to change your life forever. It is giving me my soul back. It has charged my life. Worms like this saved my life. Veterans Charity Ride is an organization that so many more veterans people need to, to see what this is. I had no idea what this can do for the veterans. Um, it, it takes you back to where you want to be. It um, Somehow, don't ask me yet, I haven't figured it out because I'm new to it, but it, it, it's such a healing. It, 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 there's an inner peace that, that you heal from this. Um, however you guys started this, it's got to grow. It has to grow. Veterans Charity Ride will change your life 